not painting on ornaments. <laughs> Paintings of ornaments. Hi, I'm Sarah Sedwick. Welcome to Merry and Bright. In this workshop, Merry and Bright, we are gonna paint still life paintings of colorful Christmas ornaments. And we're gonna use a, a split primary palette, which is still a pretty small palette by a lot of artist standards. But for me, it's about as big as I ever go in terms of numbers of paint tubes. And so a split primary means two of each of the primaries, red, yellow, and blue. But because we're painting ornaments and it's a special occasion, we are gonna use what I call my special teams players colors. The phthalos, the quinacridones, maybe even some turquoise out of the tube purple out of the tube, colors that I wouldn't always have in my normal palette, which is more traditional in earth tones. Christmas ornaments, those kind of real synthetic, bright, beautiful colors is the perfect time to pull those special tubes out of the back of your paint box. So we're going to lay out our palette with all these beautiful colors and talk about how to set up a good still life. I've got some tips for how to keep those ornaments from rolling off your studio table, even when they're under attack by dogs and children. We're gonna talk about lighting, creating interesting shadows, and then you'll walk through the process of creating a thumbnail sketch real quick in a sketchbook before diving into your canvas. You'll get some recipes for mixing silver and gold and uh, kind of walk through the process of creating those, the illusion of that texture. So a great thing to do with these ornament paintings is make your own greeting card for the holidays. Uh, I make postcards for all of my professional contacts with one of my ornament paintings every year and I also make traditional greeting cards with them. I put them in my calendar for December. They also make fantastic holiday decorations and even if you wanted to do like a miniature painting of ornaments, you could make it into an actual ornament and hang it on your tree. I have been painting these for over a decade and I will tell you the people that collect them I don't think they're just displaying them seasonally. I think they I like having them around all year long. I hope you'll join me for Merry and Bright. It's gonna be a lot of fun.